welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap and very beautiful Dollar Tree DIY Christmas wreath that you can hang on your big front door and it looks so beautiful and shabby chic and it's actually very affordable so if that's something you want to see then just stick this around what you're gonna need for this wreath I have a bunch of these bags of bows that I got last year at Dollar General when they had the 25 cent sale where everything Christmas left over was 25 cents. So I got four bags of these bows and if you don't use them within the first couple months of when you buy them, the stickiness kind of expires. So that's why I'm going to use these and I'm going to hot glue them onto this pool noodle. So you will need some hot glue of course and a pool noodle. I don't know where you can find one of these now in the Christmas season, but maybe they have them in Walmart or something. I got this at Dollar Tree in the summertime because I knew I'd be making wreaths come the holiday season. So let's get started. And of course, I forgot to mention that you'll need a little bit of duct tape for this step. So I just used the remainder of my duct tape to tape around the ends of the pool noodle so it makes a nice wreath. But I ran out because why would I have enough? Because it's me. Um, so I just use some regular scotch tape and that held on well until I can find some other duct tape around the house. But then of course this scotch tape also ran out because I don't have correct materials in my house. So make sure you are very well stocked with tape before you start this craft. Don't be like me. Then I got all the colored bows that I wanted to be on the wreath. I organized those with a gold, sparkly gold, red and maroon theme and I started using my glue gun to just glue the little tab at the bottom of the bow and place those around the wreath and make it look really full and fluffy and you'll have a ton of bows if you just use two bags and that will cover the entire wreath. And then this is the last step and I got one of these big huge bows from Dollar Tree last year I think and there are a ton of options but I just got a big red one then your job here is done So first I got my little wallet size photos of each of the little children's from Walgreens and I cut those out. You all know how to cut things out. I'm not going to show you how I did all that. And then you're going to need those wallet size photos I just showed you and a bag of cotton balls, a package of the thin ribbon and two plastic ornaments and of course some scissors. First I just started poking these little cotton balls into those ornaments and filling them up to the top and I learned that one bag of cotton balls fills two ornaments so keep that in mind and then I actually learned that filling them all the way up to the top is probably a bad idea because you can't fit the picture in there so you live and you learn right so I took about five of those out and squeezed that little picture of Leo in there and flattened it out to the shape of the ball and stuffed the rest of the cotton balls in there and it was done After that, you just put the cap back on, and I would suggest gluing this on, but for right now, I'm just putting the cap on just to show you guys. Then with your ribbon, you just tie a simple shoelace bow and thread it through that top knot right there, and you are done.
So because I'm such a great DIYer YouTuber, I forgot to show you what supplies you'll be needing for this next craft. So I will have everything listed in the description box down below and where you can get it. But basically I just use a couple milk bottles from the DT, some white acrylic paint, you can get this anywhere, Walmart, Target, Michaels, a paintbrush, some twine, and your choice of Dollar Tree bouquets of flowers. I just painted the milk bottles with a simple paintbrush from the DT as well and let that dry and now I just glued a little bit of the twine onto the top of the milk bottle and wrap it around about six or seven layers and to get a nice thick rim of twine at the top. And mom life, am I right? This little kid gets into everything. He wants to know everything that I'm doing. Anyone else relate to that? After your glue is done dry and your paint is done dry and you've wrapped around your twine, I just put some of these flowers in there but I bent them a little bit first like this so they'll fill up the vase a little bit better and stand better and rearrange those however way you like and you're done.